Claro. What in the heck? I'm hearing wicked noises. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today guys, I am back at a really familiar spot. A lot of you are really familiar with the cemetery. I am at the Spring Hill Cemetery in Brooksville, Florida. I have been here a few times. This is actually my third time here. The very first time that I came here, uh, a lot of wild things were happening, as you know. We were already in the area. We were staying at the Mirador Bed and Breakfast and we were doing an investigation over there. And since we were already here, we decided to stop by the Spring Hill Cemetery again. The last time we came here, the gates were closed. And after that, the gates stayed closed for quite some time. There was a lot of YouTubers that attempted to come here and do their investigations and they were just afraid to come in because the gates were closed. They didn't want to break any rules or, you know, get arrested for trespassing, stuff like that. When we came here yesterday, um, just, just to check the place out again, the gates were wide open and they're still wide open. So why not come back and do another investigation? It is daytime. Again, we were already in town. We are headed back to Port Charlotte florida this afternoon but again i had to stop here while we were here and uh i heard something but yeah so let's take a walk around let's uh grab the k2 meter the necrophonic see what we got going on here today guys at the spring hill cemetery let's do it all right guys here at the spring hill cemetery one of the or i guess is the most haunted cemetery in all of Florida. For those of you who don't know, and I just heard a noise over here, like a tapping noise. So John and I, again, as I said earlier, were here yesterday. We just stopped in to see if the rumors were true that the gate is open again. We didn't come here to do an investigation. It was actually, you know, we were, again, we were just in the area. We just wanted to stop by 
and we were hearing like crazy crazy knocking noises in the woods in the back up here by the child's grave we just went back there to see if our doll that we put there was still there and to see what else was brought to her and uh we were hearing massive amounts of knocking noises up here guys so i'm gonna come up here first see if we can hear that again and it almost sounded like uh somebody had a hammer and they were like hammering wood but they would like like hammer like do 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 and then it would stop and then we would turn around to walk away and we would hear it again do 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 and then it would stop I hear it. me too What is it? Hear it? Yeah. I, think are it up. I hope so. It was pretty insane, guys. So I am here with John. Me and John are the only ones here. But I am... Um... Okay, I just heard that. I am here, up here by myself. John is all the way down there. I don't know if you guys can see him. Right there. So he's going to be filming some pan shots. And just getting different shots of various parts of the cemetery like he always does. By the way, let me give that credit to my husband, John. All those pan shots and those really cool scenes that you see in all of my videos are all John. He goes around and takes all those pan shots for me while I go around and investigate and show you guys around. The last time I was, well, not the last time I was here. The last time I was here was yesterday, but the time before that, which would have made the first time that I was here, about five months ago or so, something was thrown at me in the cemetery. It was like a rock or a pebble or something that was thrown at me from behind. It hit me in the back of the leg. And the wild thing about it is not only did I feel it hit me, but I could hear the sound of it smacking against my pant leg. And you can actually hear that in the video. So you guys can check that out. That video is still on my channel from, I believe it was back in November 2020 that we were here. I'm hearing so many noises back here. Another thing about this place too, guys, is you're constantly seeing things out of the corner of your eye. And when I say constantly, I mean constantly. Like, not every once in a while, it's all the time, guys. So, here is the little girl's grave where everybody brings something for her. A toy, there's jewelry, there's money, there's keychains, there's sunglasses. I mean, flowers. There's even an orange up there. Necklaces, beaded necklaces. There's, I believe, a rosary right there. So much over here. This little girl is definitely, definitely loved. These woods, man, I'm telling you. Also, for those of you who don't know, there are other YouTubers that have been here that have actually taken a stroll in those woods to show you what is back there. And there's literally nothing back there but woods and orange trees. There's no homes back there. There's no roads back there. I have heard, though, that people do come here at night and go back into those woods and do crazy things that I would never do. Witchcraft and seances and all kinds of stuff, which, uh... <sighs> Not my cup of tea, guys. Over here, we have the celebrity Michael Telefiro's burial. He played in several movies. One that I have seen a long time ago, which was Bad Boys, and that was with Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. And he is buried here at the Spring Hill Cemetery. It looks like he died about 15 years ago. I didn't even realize that he's been gone for that long, guys. And the very first time that I came to the cemetery, I was trying to make it a point to find his grave and I couldn't find it. And when I got back home, I found out where it was. So I'm happy that I can come here and visit and pay my respects. So look at that. There's a bunch of blue stones and stuff here left for him. That must mean something. That's really cool. And I believe his mother is buried here as well. Michael Tel Telefiro, I believe, resided in California. And his mother, from what I've heard, 
was buried here at the Spring Hill Cemetery, which is why he was buried here at the Spring Hill Cemetery. But I'm not sure if it's this Ethel Kerr up here that would be his mother or if it's, let's see what this one is over here. Rosa Eddie Perry. I don't know if it's, oh, nope, this is just two years ago. And I believe she passed away before her son did. So it must be the Ethel Kerr up there above him. Yeah, again, guys, Michael Telefero, great actor. Played in some really good movies. Very sadly passed away at a very young age. All right, I'm starting to feel a little uh, uneasy back here, guys. Almost in uh, like a panic mode. You know, when you kind of feel like you want to panic and run, that's almost kind of how I feel right now, being back here just since I've heard that thump. And now I'm hearing noises like crazy. I'm hearing like a slight thumping noise, guys. What in the hell is that? That sounds like footsteps. Oh my God. There's like footsteps right in front of me. Who's making those noises? Can you touch my meter or speak into my camera, speak into my microphone? That was really weird. I heard footsteps right there, guys. So you have like these odd burials, like you're just walking through the grass, walking away from these bur burials and you come across something like this and I had no idea that this was even here. It's just like randomly sitting here. 1929, Richard Samuel Kelly. Very old burial, but look at how it's just It's like on an angle. It's really weird. Like the location is really strange. Got a lot of uh, crypts here. I would say that the majority of burials here are crypts. Um, for those of you who don't really know about crypts or are not very familiar about what they are, they're these things. These are crypts. And the people that are buried in them are not too far down they're actually kind of up look at these these are old guys oh i can't even read them oh i just heard like a growling noise oh i don't know if i want to go back up there that didn't sound good that sounded just like a growl. Looks like the uh, grass isn't being maintained over here very well. Um, some of these are unreadable, guys. Yeah, I mean, these are, these are crazy. Like, that's completely unreadable. I mean, I'm sure it said something at one point, but now it doesn't. Yeah, look, a lot of these are completely unreadable or unmarked. It really makes you wonder how old these are, you know? There are so many flowers here. This is what I love about this particular cemetery is all of the flowers that are on all of these graves. There's so many of them. It is amazing. It's like when you come into the cemetery, it's nothing but a huge colorful I can't say mess because that would sound really rude, but the cemetery is quite dilapidated as far as... <sighs> Nothing's really even. Nothing's evenly spread. Everything is just kind of bunched 
together um, the areas in which some burials are don't really make much sense. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's absolutely beautiful. So the last time we came here, I believe there was only one or two cars on this headstone. Now there's several. So somebody's definitely come back and added more cars. Must have really liked cars. There's obviously another burial right next to him, but sinking in the ground, completely unmarked. Off over here in the distance, kind of private lake. I hope I'm not stepping on any of them. Look at this. This is literally just a cinder block. It's literally all it is. There was also uh, a headstone over here in the dirt, guys. Literally in the dirt. Me and John seen it. We just like stumbled on it when we were walking here the last time. And I'm trying to find where it was. And I felt so bad because it's, it's just in the dirt. I mean, I don't think this was it. It was up here somewhere. Hopefully I didn't walk on it. Oh, look at that. Somebody left. Looks like... What? What was that? Oh, I should have put my hat on because even though I'm wearing sunglasses, the sun is still in my eyes. And it's so hard to see sometimes, especially when you hear a noise, because this the sun is just so bright. Oh my god. What in the heck? I'm hearing wicked noises. my camera's picking that up it's like footsteps like all right guys so i need to figure out how to get out of this booby trap of burials here because i'm kind of right in the middle of it all as you can see how did i make my way over here good question i don't know okay so this headstone over here just just caught my eye That is old. Wow. I don't believe I've seen this before. You know, that's that's another good thing about returning to places that you've been to because you're there's no way that you're going to see everything or notice everything. And a lot of times, you know, when you go back, what was that? You know, you see things that you missed before, so well, that's always cool. Okay, how do I get out of here? Let me come over this way. There's like lizards fighting. Oh no. Should I go break it up? I think I should. There we go. Get off each other. There's no need for violence. No, none of that. None of that. Guys, I am hearing so many noises. Oh my god. Look at this is just a concrete slab with nothing on it. We were getting really good EVPs in this area, guys, the last time we were here. She's had many visitors since then, you can tell. Very cool. Let me fix. Fix these. I wish I had some water. I would water these. Here's another one. Actually, I'll put this up here so it won't fall over as easily. There we go. Ooh, look at this. And it says, it's scratched in it. It says, rest in peace. I mean, that's 
hidden. You might have just stepped on that. Might have. I mean, I see guys, these, these, this is the kind of thing I mean. You know, it's really, really hard to avoid things like that. As much as we try and as much as I really try to pay attention to where I'm walking, it's just really hard and impossible and I feel awful and I apologize to those that I'm stepping on. I'm not doing it on purpose, I promise. But it's just really hard to avoid sometimes, guys. Oh, they must have died together? Hold on here. Okay, it doesn't say the month. It just says 2021. They're both brand new and they both have the same last name. I'm wondering if they passed away together in a car accident or something. It's awful. Oh, here's another one, guys. Look, Andrew Hopkins Jr., 2021. Guys, okay. I think I know what this is. Very, very sadly, these people had to have passed from COVID. These are all new. It's only been 2021 for three months. So I'm, I'm almost guaranteeing that these poor people passed away from COVID. I just, I can't wait for this to be over with, guys. I really can't. And, you know, the only way we're going to do this is by doing your part. Wear your mask, wash your hands, social distance. Do everything you can do. Don't be stubborn. Don't be selfish. Don't be careless. Let's get rid of this, guys. I know vaccines and stuff are going on and, you know, that's great. But not everybody's getting vaccinated. A lot of people have their different opinions on the vaccines you know i know this is off topic for what my youtube channel is about but i see things like this and i i i almost have to say it because <sighs> it's just awful absolutely awful all right guys so i'm going to catch up with john up here and we are going to do a necrophonic session um aka spirit box session up by this little girl's grave. The last time we came here, we only did a short session up here. And if you remember, out of nowhere, the wind picked up. What was that? Did you hear that? I heard bang over there. Yeah. yeah. It was really loud. There are a bunch of new burials up there. Yeah. And there's four right there in a row, all 2021. What do you suppose that means? COVID. Exactly. Okay, so this, uh, this looks like a new burial, guys. Unfortunately, it definitely is because of the standing sprays here, which are the flowers. All right, guys, so we're here by the little girl's grave. We're gonna do a necrophonic session and see if she wants to tell us anything or if anybody here wants to say anything. So the little girl that's buried here. My camera keeps on turning off. Your camera keeps turning off? Yeah, I restarted it again. Wow, there's a lot. So the little girl that's here. Did you hear a little girl's voice? Yeah, I think so. There again. Can you tell us how you died? A lot of people are curious as to how you died. Did you drown in a lake? That's what some people are wondering that happened. I keep hearing a little girl's voice come through, or a child voice. Is that you? Can you let us know that you're here? Mm. 
What's your name? Who is girl? I thought I heard. Exactly. Yes, the, the little girl that's buried right here. Can you tell me what your name was? I thought I think I heard doll. Dolly. Dolly, yeah. Which there's a whole bunch of dolls over here, guys. Can you tell us how old you were when you died? John? <laughs> I don't know. I was on a child voice. Is there anybody else here that wants to communicate with us? Is there anything that you want us to know? Get out. That was clear as day. Yeah. Are you at peace on the other side? There's so much coming through. Yeah. What? Oh, I can't wait to listen back. All right, well, we're going to close the session out here in a minute if there's anything that you want to tell us. Now is your chance. I mean, they're just coming out with all kinds of things. It's really kind of hard to understand what they're saying. There's a lot of bird noises and stuff. Who is that? Oh, I said, oh, shit. Like it? Like it? <laughs> is this cemetery as haunted as everybody claims that it is? Would you be more willing to communicate if we were to come back at night? Yes. Yes, and yep. Mm -hmm. It sounded like they said all of you. Well, there's only two of us. But I don't know if they're referring to all of you as in people who come here to communicate with the spirits here. I'm sure it's been a while since people have come here to actually communicate with you guys, being as how the gates were closed for quite some time. Are you happy to have people come back? Come back? Yeah. All right, so we're going to get going. Thank you for communicating with us. There's so much. I know. So much here, guys. And for those who don't believe that the Necrophonic works because it's just an app, you have to use it. You have to use it to find out for yourself, guys. It is legit. It is more active in, in some locations rather than others. You get a lot of direct answers to your questions. I have it on airplane mode, so it's not connecting to anything. Exactly. It is on, the phone is on airplane mode. Some people are confused over the fact that you, you know, if you have your ringer off on your phone, you can't access your necrophonic. That is true. You have to have your ringer on in order to use it. But you can put your phone or your device in airplane mode 
and Necrophonic will still work and you won't have to worry about your phone, you know, asking permission to connect to anything. You won't have to worry about your microphone, um, you know, other phone calls coming in, texts coming in, all of that. Also, guys, another interesting fact that a lot of people don't realize, especially the skeptics, Necrophonic never, ever, ever asks permission to access your microphone, your camera, or your location. So a lot of people always say, well, Necrophonic says certain words because it hears you say it, or they're responding to things that, that the app is hearing around it. That is not true. The app cannot hear what you're saying. It can't see through your camera. It can't listen through your microphone and it can't connect to your location. It can't do any of that. So guys, Necrophonic has no idea what you're doing. It has no idea what you're saying. There's no logical explanation as to why Necrophonic is so accurate. I plan to make a video very soon to explain uh, exactly how Necrophonic works to kind of put the skeptic's mind at ease. So make sure you watch out for that. And we are gonna wrap up guys. We are gonna get out of here. We have about a two and a half hour drive back home to Port Charlotte. So we're gonna hit the road. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for coming with us on these awesome adventures. We really appreciate it. And if you like this video, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon that's located next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time I upload a video. So guys, again, thank you so much. These past couple of days have been amazing. I'm so excited to bring you the content that I've been getting. Have a great day. See you guys later. Take care.